Hi my friends, today we try to model this part which is a uh, uh, sheet metal part. You see there are some uh, pockets here and the drawing is as you can see. Before we start with this object, I want to uh, practice the tool sculpt for a while. Sometimes this tool is very important. We'll use it here, so let's see more about the tool. New standard millimeters IPT we select the three origin plans and we make them visible we start for the first with the fourth first sketch by drawing a simple line as you can see finish sketch oh where are my planes visibility now we have a better image about these three planes we know something from uh, 3d geometry that uh, some objects are polyhedron the uh, minimum faces no, uh, minimum number of faces for a polyhedron is a tetrahedron with four faces. We have here three faces so that we must create another one, the fourth one, by selecting the line and the plane. And we rotate this new plane around that axis to make it somehow that you see now okay good because there are uh, four planes we can create the four places of a tetrahedron we do this by using the tool sculpt and we select successively that four planes you see something new inside okay yes we have a polyhedron a tetrahedron the line is here if we uh, add another line now I uh, go back with this because you know what happens between that four planes is this volume a tetrahedron okay Control Z and I make this plane perpendicular on this plane. Double click and I write here 90 degrees. 90. Okay. Now the tetrahedron is not possible to be created because this will be a prism let's see I select the four planes one after another and I try to create the object which must be inside that uh, planes you see we have an error because 
these planes as uh, they are now cannot include a volume inside thinking about this direction the uh, body is infinite yes this is an aspect I go back control Z to uh, the other situation and I add another plane where to be added on this plane for instance another line this one randomly created another plane this line and this plane define another plane 90 degrees 90 degrees now we know that accepting this plane we have a volume inside here I apply the tool sculpt I select the former planes one two three four we have here that uh, tetrahedron and now I select also the new plane this one is the new one okay we have here a combination of two tetrahedrons control Z and let's see about the details this is the new plane yes this one if you take a look closely I select this one this one this one and this one and we have the previous tetrahedron now when I add the other plane you see we have two tetrahedrons here inside and we can select which one is interesting for us how can do this we can do this by uh, finding the plane which create the separation between that tetrahedron and to select the the one we want to obtain for instance if we want to obtain uh, this long tetrahedron we have to go to this internal uh, symbol to select this arrow yes the arrow uh, on the side we want to have a volume okay you see now we have only one tetrahedron I did this by using the, the arrows once again if you select after you activate this tool if you select a plane you see two possibilities one is this and the other is this one this is the site where you will create the new volume read here what you need to remember about the sculpt tool a volume can only be created if its face is flat or curved enclose the entire volume and if one of the faces cuts the volume in two then you can select the desired volume using one of the separation arrows we come back now 
to this drawing and we see that there is a revolution body here with uh, uh, dimensions 120 the radius of 240 a diameter of 508 and a top a circular face with diameter of 113 let's create this first uh, volume new standard millimeters IPT start sketch XY plane a line of 120 120 now we must enlarge here I go perpendicularly or horizontally and then I keep pressed the left button and I draw an arc my friends this is a good procedure for everyone and now close close I make this center line I apply the diameter of 113 from this point this end of the line to the center line 113 then the radius of 240 and the last dimension is 400 508 millimeters the external diameter now this this dimension from that line to the center line 508 good finished sketch you see we have the first sketch if we apply revolve we obtain the first volume but for the uh, situation in our tutorial we don't need a volume we need a surface so that we go back control Z we edit the sketch and we cut this line now we have one dimension needed which one the position of this end which is not def defined so we select horizontal center point and this point now we have fully constrained sketch finish revolve you see the symbol is this because it will be created a face okay and we have a face it is not so well visible but we go to file options and colors colors to forest okay now we see better 
what is the surface. We don't need either all the circle. Double click on revolution surface and we select here 60 degrees. This is enough for us to create the object. Good. And now what? Let's see the drawing. We want to create this interesting pocket which has some dimensions here. As you can see there is a bottom face parallel with the horizontal at 40. There is another side at 45. We create these two. We create two planes to accommodate uh, these uh, faces. Two planes which are based on the XY plane. This is, I make it visible for a moment. It is not necessary, you can select from here directly. The tool plane, we move this plane to the, the other direction, the mm, sign is minus, and we write minus 45. Why minus? Because the plus direction is to the left and we go to the right. Good. The other volume, the other plane, excuse me, is based on plane XZ. You see, I don't have it on the screen, but I can click here. I move up. I write 40 and I have the second plane. Now I don't want to see this plane. You know how to proceed in the future. So we have two planes. Yes, this two. Okay, we go back to the drawing and we see here two dimensions, 75 and 60. This is why we draw two lines, one, two, because they are the end on and the midpoint of the uh, intersection of planes. We draw these lines on this plane. This plane where we project this short line and we obtain a point here, yes, because this line is perpendicular on the plane, of course. Then I draw the two lines, one horizontal, horizontal is so restart and another one here again nine perpendicular good escape now I project the plane the vertical plane and I obtain this line. I extend. Let me uh, apply dimensions. The dimension between this line and this point is 75. Dimension between the two lines is 60. 
Okay, you see what we have here. We extend the two lines to the projected line from that plane to have an end. And we have to uh, add two dimensions. That dimensions are not really dimensions because they um, must be on the same vertical or horizontal. Let's see. This is horizontal. Yes, you see a, a line on the screen. The one we want to use. I select the end of this line, this end, and I place it on the same horizontal here with this one. I cannot select the point because of my right hand, my friends. You know the situation. Once again, I catch this point. Now we have one dimension. That last one, I find with difficulty and I have fully constrained. Good. Finished sketch. I go back to the drawing and we see that this first line is a separation between the used plane and another one at 10 degrees. And the, the other line is for the plane at 15 degrees. Let's create these two planes. Plane based on this plane and this line. I rotate this to obtain 10 degrees. Not 5 but 10. Good! We have 10 degrees, a plane at 10 degrees from the original one to this one about this line. The other plane is based on the same uh, former plane and the second line. The angle is 15. This means that I start from 90 so that I write 90 minus 15. We use the dimensions in the drawing. Good. Another plane was born. Okay. Now we go back to the drawing and we see that we have here a curved face which is based also on this arc with a radius of 265. This arc which starts from this point at 60 and tangent to that horizontal. Let's create this arc. Which plane we choose? This plane placed at 40 millimeters up from the base. To do this, we project the previous projection of a line. We also select this point and we start with an arc from the point to outside here and with a radius of 
265 it was placed somewhere outside but we apply tangent between this line this arc and the line now we have that line and one dimension is needed yes of course because the end of the arc is not uh, defined we project again this tiny line we obtain this point and the horizontal not the vertical alignment between this point and this end okay now you see this end is at uh, this end we are sure that the arc is outside the surface I make this uh, line as a construction line because I want to have in this uh, sketch this new sketch only this arc as uh, entities as useful entities finish sketch and I change the name of sketch 4 if you don't mind to loft spine this will be the spine of the loft which will be created loft is the tool for creating that uh, curved surface very nice very interesting okay now I go to this uh, first uh, start line of the curved face to allow the tool loft to be applied here that line is along this axis an axis is infinite long I go to this plane and I create a new sketch a new sketch yes I don't use the the former sketch which was this one when we uh, 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 created the, the axis and so on we used the axis I project here this arc I need that line in in the plane oh no control Z excuse me now I have to draw a line along this line I project only the point this point I draw a line an arbitrary line but with the length of 240 you'll see why is this dimension and I place the midpoint of this line where is the midpoint here is the midpoint placed over uh, this one and then I project the axis the projection will be short you see you see now I project the axis in our plane and I make is short uh, I mean is not infinite I make a line this two I make the uh, support as construction line because again I want to have only one line 
here this one is not construction line okay finish sketch I call this sketch as loft line one loft line one okay <laughs> there are a lot of lines here no problem we'll control everything I want to eliminate uh, dimensions so I go here and I apply dimension visibility because as to uh, full of dimensions there and so on I also eliminate the dimension radius of this arc now I create a plane at the end of this uh, arc yes I do not need this plane visibility but this one is important will be good let's create that plane at the end of the arc nothing simpler than this I select the, the arc if I uh, don't get it from here I'll go back because it happens and this is the plane I select the arc I select the end of arc I make this also auto resized we all know that this is an arc uh, plane perpendicular on the tangent of this arc and this point uh, what about this you will see we have an angle for the last line of the curved face at 75 degrees from vertical we create this line in what plane and this new plane a new sketch I go back by projecting the end of the arc this end but better is to project the arc it has an end everything is okay you see this is the end good <laughs> and uh, what next next is a line at 75 degrees but I start by creating a small one in order to find the midpoint I make coincident this midpoint with this end of the line or this end of the arc I place dimension for this new line at the same value with this one I click here and I select the parameter of this dimension okay now I want to have 75 degrees from the vertical this means that the angle between these two lines must be 90 minus 15 min minus 75 to use dimensions in the drawing my friends minus 75 you'll excuse my uh, uh, small mistakes which come from my medical condition 
end with dimension I make this construction line because I want to have only one entity here not constructive which is this line finish sketch I call this loft line 2 loft line 2 good now if I hide this plane I hide this plane visibility good good I want to generate the loft now I can hide also this sketch for the moment visibility you see we have three sketches one is with this arc which is the spine the uh, rail for the for the loft and two lines at the ends of this arc we activate the loft tool we select loft line one it was selected loft line two it was selected and I go here to select center line or spine and I select the loft spine okay very interesting my friends this is the let me make this surface as uh, not visible for the moment visibility you see we have an interesting curve here good we have other two planes to make uh, visible and to create them let me make this visible again and this sketch visible again we need what they contain visibility is here if we go back to the drawing we see that this uh, uh, line which is this one is the line which defines that uh, plane at 10 degrees we are we already have that plane yes this is the one oh I forgot <laughs> excuse me visibility for this plane and not visible for this sketch because it was consumed we used lines from there to make that uh, other faces okay now we have this plane to place here for you to have uh, something uh, in your hands and we go to the tool sculpt okay let's see what happens I'm not sure we'll have a good uh, result but I hope to I select all these surfaces all of them including the revolution surface and the loft face 
the loft is this one good <laughs> the volume is inside my friends the only problem is that there are two volumes this one and this one we don't need this one so as I told you I use this arrow of the loft surface to select which side is important to me this side is important and now it disappeared the second volume okay <laughs> this is the pocket all of this are not necessary to be visible not the axis, not the other plane, nothing. Visibility for all. Hiding all. Okay, now I have to create the volume, not the surface. To do this, I double click on this revolution surface and I see how it looks. It looks good. There is a sketch there. I copy the sketch. Copy. Okay. Then I go to the plane XY to use for placing there that sketch paste paste where is the paste I cannot find well with my poor hands you see this is the definition for the surface we need the revolution body not revolution surface so uh, for the moment we have two dimensions needed yes because this sketch is not placed on the center point so that I have to make coincident this point with this point and I draw a line between the two points in order to obtain a volume not a surface <laughs> okay finish sketch revolve I select the profile this is the profile I select to have a volume not a hollow a surface and with 60 degrees is okay but I don't make this including my beloved <laughs> pocket so that I create a new object, a new body. Yes? Okay. Now we have two bodies, two solid bodies. One is the pocket and the other is the uh, quarter of, uh, not quarter, sixth part of the, the uh, volume general volume now I subtract the pocket from this volume to do this I use combine what is the tool body or base body from which body you want to make a subtraction from this my friends 
And what is the tool body? The tool body is the pocket. And the solution is cut, not add. Okay. <laughs> we have something interesting, very interesting. Now I apply mirror for the resulting object as a not as a feature but as a body which is the mirror plane the mirror plane is this one okay now I multiply by using circular pattern I multiply the full object this object not as a feature but as a volume you see now I cannot select features and the rotation axis is this how many times three times my friend not six which is by default look at it but I forgot something excuse me my age talks control Z I have to place here a lot of uh, fillets you see we have radius 10 here which is missing this is a drawing made by me so I can annotate it to place this dimension of a tiny arc radius radius 10 I place it somewhere uh, to be visible here I forgot it The other is radius 8, the other is radius 5 all over around this. Uh, so, once again, this is 10, this is 8, all of that are 5, and this is also 10. You see here, 10. Good. Let's apply these fillets. And then I'll use the circular pattern. Select this radius or fillet with radius 10 to this one and this one. Then another value. Another value is 8 for this. 8. Another value is 5, 5, for all other edges or margins, how can I say, here. Okay. Now I apply circular pattern, I select volume or body, not features, I select the rotation axis, which is this, and three times, not six times. Okay. Oh yes, but uh, the power object is hollow how to obtain that no problem we use the shell tool i forgot to mention that the uh, thickness is three yes let's apply the shell tool 
it must be applied all over but without this bottom end the value is not one millimeter but three millimeters okay this is the object my friends let's select stainless steel which is this one let's go back to the color alt f i is the call for application options you use one finger alt f the file from file and then i for this option and I select presentation okay now is the final object I save it but firstly let me see what is the volume high properties physical update let me select the value which is uh, here copy close go to the drawing double click here and we go to the value <laughs> what you see here my friends the same volume as in the drawing look at it very nice cancel I, I I don't change the value because it is right which was to be okay it is not a simple uh, model it is difficult but you can see that inventor can mm, uh, handle surfaces as well as katia uh, pro engineer which is called now as uh, i don't i forgot okay please try to make my tutorial alive you have uh, mind you have uh, hands and computers go on and make all my tutorials to have uh, good knowledge and to become professional that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye